Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Um, I'm going to try to do another spiritual talk here. Uh, subject matter. This is actually somebody asked my opinion on how to let go of um, resentment. Let go of resentment. And so a lot of trauma that people carry can oftentimes happen in the family unit and or in our inner circles so to speak obviously there's so many different types of trauma but i think um and i hope that this answers the person's question um i feel like a lot of us carry anger and resentment towards people that have caused us hurt and harm and um, we tend to carry that and so there's one thing to have sadness that we carry and or fear that we carry of being hurt um, again you know we what what tends to happen with trauma right and again we're, we trauma I don't I think what I want to say here is that when we use the word trauma I think we by nature go to the biggest parts of trauma but um, there's all sorts of trauma. And really, I feel like it's almost impossible to enter this life without being affected by some sort of trauma. And one thing that has really come to light for me in the past um, several years is all trauma counts, you know? all hurt counts trauma has this you know it's this word that is like big things big things happen trauma with you know certain types of you know physical sexual abuse um you know ptsd from um, the military war you know um, different big things is what we think of when that trauma happens but trauma can affect us on so many levels um in so many subtle ways and things that you know I can speak for myself and say I've justified as oh man that wasn't their fault I was such a bad kid blah 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 you know and and um, sort of belittle the pain that we carry and most of the time when I say the pain that we carry oftentimes there's certain behaviors that we bring into um, our relationships, our, our marriages, our um, child raising, um, even our friendships, even in our workplace, certain behaviors that we bring and we don't realize that we're acting out from um, unfinished business we have from childhood. You know what I'm saying? And so this is all stuff that I'm currently kind of diving deep into and learning myself on a deeper level something that I've always known but god there's so many layers to it right and so you know this one person listening to the spiritual talks asked my opinion on on the resentment piece and so again there's one thing to carry fear there's one thing to carry um apprehension um sadness from past traumas but we also can walk around feeling angry and resentful and like how could they do that to us and you know the first thing that I would say is to tell anybody that carries things and I carry things and boy I, I would love to be a master at letting it go but it's it's easier said than done and what and what I mean by that is that again a lot of this is subconscious subconscious um some people my father uses the term the pain body that's a term from Eckhart Tolle um, um we have the pain body right and we so you know our human perspective oftentimes um functions from in response to things that have happened to us oftentimes from a long long time ago that we're conditioned to um behave from and so 
you know, how do we get past that, right? Well, first of all, you know, how do we even understand what it is? And sometimes it can take a lot of work. And um, if people are in their point in their life that they're diving deep into this, counseling is a great idea. There's there's trauma counselors. There's people that really have a lot of um, skills in the area of understanding how we are functioning from our childhood wounds in a lot of ways. It shows up in, in most areas of our life. Some people function and let's call react and or respond from that place um, more times than they don't. And so we have all of these things inside of us, you know, and we have the higher self, the wise self, the observer, the part of us that has the ability to look at our life from the beginning to the end and um, be able to see this whole um, pageant or whatever, just this whole beautiful experience playing out um, in this human experience, right? And um, the idea is, is this higher self, this, this um, wise part of ourselves, this part of ourselves that has, um, you know, generations and generations of wisdom that we carry, that we bring into this life um, through our ancestry and through our DNA and through, you know, people have different ideas of where this comes from. But this um, inner knowing that we have about um, how to respond to the world. That's the idea is we want to learn to have that be leading the way. But not only do we have that inside us, we have all sorts of um, archetypes sort of that we create pieces of ourself um, or that have been created without you know, our conscious knowing. And so we have that child that oftentimes um, turns to self-protection, you know, turns to, um, or, or acts out of fear, or, um, you know, we oftentimes develop um, a warrior self, you know what I mean, that wants to fight and or defend and or and what happens is none of these are bad. These little pieces inside of us, they all, um, how do you say that? They all have a part to play, but they can be in balance when one takes over. So this is the idea that all of these little pieces of ourself, you know, it makes me laugh a little inside about all my multiple personalities, you know what I mean? But, but really, you know, it's just, just natural, you know, we have this higher self and this higher self sometimes has to be the person that consoles the child. So starting to go back and circle back to where I started. How do you let go of resentment, right? Um, well, sometimes, you know, you actually have the ability to heal those wounds with the people that potentially caused them. You know, if, if, if you have um, people that are trying to be better in your life, um, you know, and it's a possibility and it's a safe option, you know, taking your pain that they may never know, they may not know about and or they might not understand it to the degree of how it's affecting you. And to be able to be maybe now an adult to present that to these people that you have this pain around um, can help heal that resentment that you have. And um, however, sometimes that's, that's um, how do you say that? I don't wanna say that that's a risky thing to do, but if that's something that you're, you feel the call to do, to, um, you know, sort of express and or process and or ask potentially for a, an apology or some, um, just for someone to listen to you, you know, um, you may not get 
the response that you want. Most cases, you probably are hoping for a certain outcome and a certain response and the likelihood that it's going to come exactly how you want it is probably low likelihood. And so I think it's good advice to be prepared for that if that's something that you want to do. And, um, and also accept that. And this is where that other part comes into play is that, you know, we can learn to have our higher self when our childhood trauma response comes up that we, a, a different part of ourself takes the reins on consoling that child that's having that response, having that reaction, having that fear, having that resentment. And to be able to give that child the apology, the acknowledgement, the understanding, and potentially the protection that that child needs. You know what I mean? And um, that's, that's a practice that takes some time, but it definitely can be very, very helpful in moving forward. And, um, you know, now I'm thinking of like native teachings, right? Where they say, um, the only thing you have in this world is yourself and the great spirit, right? And, uh, you know, I'm never one to challenge people's belief systems and what they think God is or where we all come from or anything like that. But, um, if that's something that you can resonate with, um, is that, you know, all we have is our, ourselves and our relationship with spirit or the creator, or however you put that, um, that puts the responsibility back on ourselves to heal and to, um, not be looking outside of ourselves for acknowledgement for, um, you know, basically to heal, to feel better, to, um, let go of anger, all of those things. And so this is just another way I think of looking at that is that, um, we have everything that we need inside of ourselves to be okay. Not only to be okay, but to thrive in this world to be whole and complete within ourselves. Oh, years ago I was given a ceremony and it's a wedding ceremony, a marriage ceremony. And before we bring those two people together, we actually um, have two separate circles and we clean that person off, energetically clean that person off, brush them off and say this prayer, great spirit, um, give this person everything they need, need to be whole and complete within themselves so that they can give and receive love in a pure way, you know, something like that. And so it's really important to learn how to do that. And lastly, and most importantly, this is basically the core of what I would want to share when it comes to how do you let go of resentment towards things that have been inflicted on you. And I wanted to address all of those other things because we do need to acknowledge you know what, that wasn't your fault. That's not okay behavior. Um, and, you know, some of these things should never happen. Another person shouldn't ever do that to, an, to another human being, especially somebody that they're supposed to love and somebody that they're supposed to um, be nurturing and caring for. And so, key component all comes back to the core of everything, which is love, right? Which is compassion. And like I said, we have to have that self-compassion for ourselves. We have to take the reins on our own lives and to give ourselves that healing and ask the great spirit or, you know, however we see that to um, help us to let go of our pain and um, the things that we carry from the past and all of that. We clean ourselves off and Hopefully, we can have the ability to look at that person 
that has inflicted whatever on us as somebody who has had pain inflicted on them. That's the thing that helps me the most. That to me is the, the ultimate truth. We're all innately good. Um, I know that people can argue that. I can hear you all, some of you right now, <laughs> having that argument. I believe that we all come from the divine, from love, right? Um, and that this human experience and the things that we're exposed to can just strip us and, and bring us so far away from that understanding and that we have pain and we have hurt and we have anger and we inflict that on others and that's learned and I can speak for myself and most people that I know and if you were to look at the people that have caused them pain look at the people who caused those people pain does that make sense if I were to yes if I were to look at the person who caused me pain and then I really look at it. And this has always come natural to me. And I've had, had to actually go backwards a little bit to um, try to address some of the things that I carry on a deeper level. But by nature, I see people as um, good and I see their pain. I see their sadness. And even if they're misbehaving or mistreating others, I can see the depth of the pain that they carry. And that, if that's something that you can't do, that's a really good practice. But if you, if you go into judgment, if you are looking at somebody that did something to you or that you're watching how they're doing something to others, of course, there is a point of intervention if you're ever seeing bad things go on. Of course, we know that. But um, to be able to um, see that person's pain and have love for them and care for them. And who was there for them? Who was there for them to apologize to? Who was there, you know, for them when they needed the love and the support and they were left all alone with the people that are supposed to be caring for them, um, hurting them, abusing them, um, demeaning them, big one. So that is the key component. You know, I know that, you know, in, in some of the circles that I've, you know, helped with and things, um, people aren't always able to be there right away. That takes time. It takes a certain level of health and a certain level of letting go of pain to be able to, you know, come back to love, come back to compassion for the people that have caused harm. And so, again, I, I know that. I want to acknowledge that to anybody who's in um, pretty severe pain. But, you know, I think that this is a pretty common understanding that we know that we have to take the reins on our own responsibility, or we have to take the reins on our own life, our own responsibility, and um, take the steps to heal. We can't expect anybody to fix us, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it would be wonderful if all the people that caused pain were available to um, acknowledge and or, um, you know, work on themselves so that they were able to show up in a way that was, you know, able to help us to heal. But we're all affected by things in this world. And when we hold on to resentment, when we hold on to anger, when we hold on to being guarded and protected all of the time, we, we are in some ways hurting ourselves and preventing ourselves from moving forward. And, you know, I mean, that's, a, that's an old, call it religious spiritual belief that's been around forever that, that I know a lot, some people have a hard time with is just that forgiveness. Forgiveness is not only for the person. Forgiveness is so that we can let it go, so that we're not harboring these things and holding on to these things. And, um, you know, maybe those people that have caused you pain are still in your life. 
still in your life and when you go and visit them or have dinner with them or whatever that it is all your stuff is just like and it churns and it comes up to the surface well that's a lot that you can work with there that's a lot you can work with and um sometimes we really got to dive deep into it it's not it's not snap of the finger stuff all the time you know everybody has to be willing to um do the work and magic happens all the time and um, um any, at any moment we can be showered with healing and showered with love and and let go of things that we've been carrying for a lifetime and if we don't want those things to arise again and show back up we have to change our beliefs sometimes we have to change our thought process we have to change our reactions and our responses to things and so you know sometimes it takes work but the bottom line is the answer to the question it always takes me 20 minutes to answer a question. The answer to the question is, um, is all love. It's all love, you know? And um, one thing that I'll leave you with, something that I've said in our native ceremonies for years, is we're, we're coming here because we're trying to learn to love ourselves. And then when we learn to love ourselves, we can learn to love this earth that we walk upon and and when we learn to love ourselves in this earth that we walk upon we can learn to love each other and in, in loving each other we forgive each other we see beyond all the garbage you know and we see that person that's hurting and we care for them and we want to pray for them and we want to um, help them doesn't mean it's our job to help them but you know that's that's the bottom line to me okay hey I'll just remind you guys that um, I know it takes me sometimes I go a little round and round to get to my points but they, that one time in the ceremony he said hey Miguel I got a new Indian name for you it's long wind so I just had to throw that out there <laughs> but hey 20, 25 minutes isn't so long for us, you know, when you do a ceremony for four, six hours, sometimes four days, then you can hear me get real long-winded. Anyway, enjoy your rest of your weekend, enjoy your life every day, do your work to be your healthiest and happiest self, make sure you take time to have lots of fun. All right, take care, thanks for listening, like and subscribe if you'd like to, all right.